Yo, let's make hủ tiếu bò viên. Today, I will be showing you how to make hủ tiếu, and it's called hủ tiếu bò viên. It's real simple. It's just, uh, it's not like pho. It's similar to pho, but it's, it's not pho. So pho, you would need uh, onions, ginger, uh, and, a lot of, and a lot of other spices. But with this one, you do not need all of that spice. Uh, here, I have two pounds of beef bones. Make sure when you buy your bones, um, get the bones with the tendons still, you know, attached like this. It's really good after you uh, simmer it for like two, three hours. This will be really good. So don't discard this. This is very, very good. And you will need uh, beef balls. This is this is all the whole thing is going to be with the beef balls and uh, beef bones with the tendons. And here I have cooked uh, the, the beef bones for 15 minutes to get rid of all the blood, all, all the dirty stuff. And it's already cooked and clean. So I'm going to drop the two pounds of bones into this medium sized pot like this. And I'm going to cover it up with water and add just a little bit of salt. I'm using this brand. It's called Kim Sung. I'm using this brand of uh, beef balls. This is one of my favorite brand or you know you can use any brand that you have available at your local grocery. And I'm going to be using this rice noodles. This is fresh rice noodles. It's called bánh phở tươi. Okay, I've put the bones into a 9 quart pot and fill it up with water. Now I'm adding in one uh, tablespoon of salt here and then I'm gonna let this simmer for about two hours. I will be using this pork flavor hu tiu soup base right here. I like this a lot. It's really good with this hu tiu. Uh, after one tablespoon of salt I will be adding three here this is like a soup spoon a soup spoon right here. I will add three of the soup spoon of the the soup base into the soup and simmer it for two hours and then we will retaste to adjust but we're just gonna do three for now that was one it was in another one and three okay we'll let this simmer uh, on medium for two hours so the soup pot has been simmering for two hours and I just dropped in one clump of this rock sugar. It's not too big. And I don't think I need to season more. So you see how uh, the soup has reduced down uh, quite a bit. Now I'm going to add in one liter of water. And then I'm going to let it simmer for another 15 minutes and re-season. And then turn off heat. So remember to season um, to your own taste. See how your family likes it, and that would be it. I just added in uh, a liter of water that I showed you earlier. Now I'm going to let this uh, simmer for another 15 minutes. But now I'm going to fish out all the, the bones right here, the beef bones. And I'm going to trim out all of this tendon that is attached to the bones. And we're going to eat it with the hutu. This is the best part right here. Now I'm going to fish this out and let this simmer for 15 minutes and then turn off heat. Then hutu will be ready to serve. Yum, yum. Okay, guys. This beef balls here, it's already cooked. Now I just opened it and I'm going to drop it straight into the soup pot. This is still on medium low for another like 10 minutes. I just fished out all the, the bones. I'm about to trim this all off. I'm going to drop this into the soup and turn off heat in like 10 minutes. Look at this, guys. So yummy. This is the best part right here. All the tendons are like, you know, tender, fall off the bone. I'm going to trim all of this out to eat with the hutu. Look at this. I trim out a whole big bowl full of tendon and meat from the bones. See, so do not discard the bones. 
look at this. You don't need to buy extra meat or tendon. It's all in the bone. And see, I also got some bone marrow. And this will go into the soup for more flavor. Look at this. So good. Okay, with this Huthi Balvin dish, we garnish it with green onions, chopped green onions and cilantro. And some culantro. This is how it looks like. Like this. And some Thai basil. And some lime and Thai chili. And bean sprouts. With this one, bean sprout must be blanched or cooked in the microwave. I do it in the microwave. So I'm going to go wash this and rinse, wash, and then put it in the microwave for two minutes. And that's it. Okay, guys, let me show you how to make dipping sauce for the hutu. So you can dip the beef uh, meatballs and the tendons into the sauce. And this sauce will also go into the, the uh, hutu soup. So here I'm using hoisin sauce, any brand that you have. Uh, this bootleg sriracha. Dude, man, I cannot find the real sriracha anywhere at any of my local store. So I'm going to have to go with this bootleg one. Uh, it's, it's all right. It's not, it's not all that, but, you know, it'll work for, for this time. And this satay, uh, it's called satay jiu jiao. This is a really good brand. Um, with this particular brand, it, um, it smells like the one that I've had in Vietnam. I mean, you can use any kind of other, uh, satay brand, but in this brand, this particular one, it tastes like the one I've had in, in Vietnam. So I, I like this brand with the hu tiu. So now we're going to mix some poison. It depends on your own taste bud. You know, if you want a lot of poison, you can put in a, a lot and if you want just a little, you can put in a little. So we're going to mix this. Same goes with the sriracha. You can use a little or a lot. Uh, it's, it's all up to your own taste. And see, I like it so much. It's almost gone. Look. See, just mix. I like a lot of this. Um, do two of this and then let's mix it all up like this and there you have dipping sauce if you want more hoisin you can add more I like it like this so dipping sauce is done uh, this is how I prepare my noodles so in this uh, bowl right here it's hot water but it's not like boiling hot water see See how, how I can put my fingers in there without burning myself. This is regular hot water. And I'm going to soak this in this hot water for about two to three minutes. And then I'm going to drain it because I don't like my hutu soggy. I'm going to drain it. And then when serving times, uh, just get however much amount you want in your bowl. And just microwave it for like 30 to 40 seconds with the hu tiu only, with no soup in there, just hu tiu. And then you're going to pour in the streaming hot soup into your hu tiu and it's ready to eat. Because I don't like my noodles soggy. So this is how I prepare my noodles. This here is pork cracklin. It's good with the hu tiu. This is another garnish to, to go on top of the hu tiu. I didn't make this today. I store bought this today. I didn't feel I did not feel like making this today. So I went ahead and bought it. All done guys. My whole deal broth. How scrumptious and greens. Everything is ready. See, I even made myself a bowl. So I can taste test for you guys. Okay, let's taste now. I'm gonna Taste the soup first. Oh wow, soup is perfectly seasoned, but I like a little lime in my soup. I'm gonna squeeze in some lime. So yummy. And I like a little sauce on mine. Mm. Cannot wait to eat this. Let's mix it all up. 
tendon dip into the sauce mm -hmm. some onion mm. you hear that crunch mm. some more soup wow beef balls Hmm. Hope you guys enjoy this recipe and please hit the subscribe button and follow for more.